In this tutorial, I will show you how to use Select and Mask in Photoshop. Welcome, my name is Marlon and on this channel I make Photoshop tutorials. In the Adobe 2015 5.0 update, the Refine Edge tool was replaced with the new Select and Mask. If you prefer to use the old Refine Edge tool, you can still access it. There should be a link on the screen to a video showing you how. You can access the new Select and Mask by choosing any of the selection tools. Once you choose one of the selection tools, you will see the select and mask on the options toolbar. You can also access the select and mask tool by going to select, then clicking select and mask. If you are going to be extracting an object and placing it on a new background, I would recommend placing the new background image under the layer you are extracting the object from. This will help visually when you start to refine the selection. I am going to be adding my selection to a solid background. So I'm going to create a new layer, fill it with a solid color, then move the layer below the main image layer. Also, I found it's much better to make your selection first then open the Select and Mask tool to further refine the selection. So I'm going to use the Quick Selection tool to make my selection. Once I'm finished making my selection, I am going to click Select and Mask. When you click Select and Mask, it launches the dedicated Select and Mask workspace. The workspace consists of four parts, Tools, Tools option, the Adjustment properties, and the Active image area. First we are going to look at the tools. The first tool is the Quick Selection tool. Just as the name implies, the Quick Selection tool is used to make quick selections. The selection is made based on the color and texture similarities. The next tool is the Refine Edge Brush. The Refine Edge Brush has edge detection capabilities so you can make precise selections. The Brush tool allows you to create a selection by painting with a brush. The Lasso tool allows you to make a freehand selection. The Hand tool allows you to move around the image you are working with. The Zoom tool allows you to magnify the image. The tool options allow you to add or subtract and adjust your brush size or shape. Next we are going to look at the Properties panel. The Properties panel gives you additional features to refine your selection. The first option is View Mode. The View Mode gives you 7 options to view your selection. The first View Mode is Onion Skin. This view mode allows you to visualize the selection masked with transparency. The next is Marching Ants. This mode allows you to visualize the selection borders as marching ants. Overlay shows the selection with a defined overlay. The default color is red. On Black shows the selection with a black background. On White shows the selection with a white background. Black and White shows the selection as a layer mask. On layer shows the selection surrounded by areas of transparency. Before we look at the other options in the properties panel, I am going to select the refine edge brush and refine my selection. To refine the selection, I am going to paint over the edges of the selection. I am now going to switch to the overlay view mode and paint over the areas that are still covered in the red overlay. Now that I have made my selection, let's look at the other options in the properties panel. The next option is edge detection. Under this option you have two selections. Radius which determines the size of the selection border in which the edge refinement occurs. Use a small radius for sharp edges and a large one for softer edges. Smart Radius automatically adapts the radius to the image edges. The next option in the Properties panel is Global Refinement.
Smooth creates a softer outline around the selection border. Feather blurs the transition between the selection and the surrounding pixels. Contrast when increased, soft edge transition along the selection border becomes more sudden. Soft edge moves soft edge borders inwards with negative values or outward with positive values. Shifting these borders inward can help remove unwanted background colors from the selection edge. The next option is output setting. The first selection is decontaminate colors. This setting will attempt to fix any color fringing and replaces them with similar pixels nearby to correct the color fringing it finds. Next you have the output to selection and the options are selection, layer mass, new layer, new layer with layer mass, new document, new document with layer mass. I am going to select new layer and click OK to output my selection. And that is how you use the Select and Mask tool in Photoshop. I hope you found this video helpful and please consider subscribing for weekly Photoshop tutorials.